Hey, while you in the first five seconds of the video.
For to give repentance. To give repentance. Those are all very key words that we got to pay attention to when we read. He said he exalted him to be a prince or a ruler. A savior means he'll save somebody from something. And to give repentance. What's repentance? Therefore, What's repentance? What scripture say that? What scripture say he came to save all people? Well, we just read it and say that. But the question I'm asking right now, what is repentance? Forgiving of what? So what is repentance? To give repentance to somebody. If I say I repent, what am I, what am I doing? What actions can I do? What actions must I take? If I say I repent, what must I do? Because you got you to be able to answer all of these questions. For well, to give repentance to Israel. To give repentance to Israel. And, and, forgiveness, and, and, for, and forgiveness of sin. So he said, he exalted Christ. He said, he exalted Christ to be a prince and a savior. And to give repentance to Israel. And forgiveness of sin. Go to uh, Acts 3 and 19. So now we're going to see what repentance is. I'm going to show you what repentance is. First Timothy 2 and 4. Let's go there. Let's go there. Let's go there. Let's go there. Oh, don't forget that. Don't forget that. No. We set up. We out here. No. No. Your destruction because you won't listen. Read. Acts chapter 3 and 19. I asked you what was repentance. You said tell you. So I'm going to show you. Read. Acts chapter 3 verse 19. Repent ye therefore. So repent ye therefore. Read. And be converted. So it says, repent and be converted. When you look in the, def in the, def in the definition of repent, it means to have remorse for the wrong for things that you've done and change. So it says, repent ye therefore and be converted. How are we converted? What do we mean? Right. What does convert mean? You don't know it, you just don't want to answer. See, that's the thing. I'm reading the Bible. We, what, what does convert mean, bro? To your own understanding. Change. Reconvert means change. It's as simple as that. We reading out the Bible. So it's not that we teaching our own understanding. It's because we, we, set, we teaching the Bible as it is written. And you don't want to hear it. Read. Yeah. You would have just heard. You. Read. Are you familiar with the Bible? That's the problem. That's the missing link. You're, 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 my, you're a Christian. You're a Christian. So do we got to keep God's law for that? It's the Bible. Uh, like everywhere in the world. Like everybody. Like the Bible is all over. It's the Bible. The Bible is the Bible right here in the pocket, but it's in the Bible. So the problem is it was taken out. So you think God will let that be taken out if it's something you need to know? Yeah, it's still there. It's <laughs> right there. So it was taken out, but it wasn't destroyed. So well, it was uh, in, in the in all the world. That's what we everybody's going to read the Bible. You read the Bible? That's your problem. That's your problem. That's the problem. That's the stumbling block for you. Because you think that you get, how, how, is, how is it that you read all the Old Testament, it's Israel, 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 Israel. And then you get to the New Testament, oh, it's all people. How? When they even in the New Testament, what we just read, get Matthew chapter 1. I, I know I'm going to come back to you, get Matthew chapter 1 and 2. Listen to this, Matthew 1 and 21. Because the problem is, what you said that we think that Christ only came for Israel. But all we're doing is reading what the Bible says. Read. The book of Matthew, chapter 1, verse 21. And she shall bring forth a son. So this is when Christ was born. It says, she shall bring forth a son. And thou shalt call his name Jesus. He said, thou shalt call his name Jesus. For he shall save his people from their sins. So the right here, it says, he shall save his people from their sins. Who is Christ Jesus? Who is Christ he said he shall come and save his people. So you quote those scriptures, but you don't have understanding. You have a 
if you have the understanding of the white man. And that's why when you when you watch a, you watch the classes, you watch what we, you watch what we teach, and you say, oh, all y'all talk about is the white man. That's because we cast down the imaginations that the white man has put in our minds all our life. I used to be a Christian, and everything you said is what Christianity teaches. But what you, everything you said is the white man's doctrine. That's why when you, when you see us, because the thing is, our people are seared with the white man's doctrine. Read that again. Matthew chapter 1, verse 21. And she shall bring forth the son. And she shall bring forth the son. And thou shalt call his name Jesus. And shall call his name Jesus. Read. For he shall save his people. So Jesus is going to save his people. Read. He said, go for it. Don't go out and take away what he said. He said, he said go out. I might be doing it on me, y'all. I just let that go. From their sin. I let this go right here. Because it's a, it's a cult. You see what I'm saying? Read a cult like, like Christian, Jehovah's Witness, Buddhism, all of the Judah. same people. Now Bethlehem and the Satan land over the whole world, world bro. Not the you know the Pharisees? The of Judah. Pharisees uh -huh. over the whole world right there. Jesus don't got no dominion in this world. He over the, us, though. Out of the but Satan Judah won the world. You see what I'm saying? That shall rule my Satan people. Won the world. That shall rule so look, my people. Jesus the said, Bible. I ain't come to change it, though. I come to fulfill it. Israel. So he said My this. People, Israel. He said this. The doctrine never changed. He said. He said. The doctrine never changed. Nation is men leading by example. Oh, no!